हाय समिता गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू जय श्री नारायण क्रिएशंस वेरी गुड इवनिंग सो इट इज डिलेड बाई टेन मिनिट्स आई हेड सम अर्जेंट वर्क सो मी टू रीशेड्यूल फॉर फाइव एट फाइव फोर्टी ओके इन सो फाइव थर्टी विच वॉज मेन्शन ओके नो इश्यूज hope all of you are fine and welcome to jay shri narayan creations and this is my hi sonia welcome this is my hi shobha 298th video and uh, so happy about it and we'll be completing 300 maybe uh, this week or by next week okay let me plan okay so happy about it and to today's the second part on um, designing design a blouse uh, which has been painted with a uh, simple ari style of work it is not exactly the ari work but it's just the ari style of work uh, by using the stones and then the ball chain and uh, running stones all those stuffs okay as yes, we had an elaborate session on how to fix the stones and then uh, i mean to give double safety for the fixation all the stuffs we did yesterday and i'm sure all of you are happy about it and um, hi vijay lakshmi meenakshi very good evening and welcome to jay shri narayan creations and let us start the session going to be a very short one and today we will be doing the sleeves which is uh, where we will fix the shang and the uh, chakra okay the two on the sleeves one on either side now Uh, before we start the regular session i would like to give you a small tip which will really help you out when you do this kind of embellishments of the fabric that to around the uh, painted portion so on the front side we have done this kind of work we all know yesterday we did this now at the back when you see you could see all the uh, the stitches uh um, that is the needle around of course this blouse will have a lining definitely a li lining blouse but still to make a uh, to get a, a double safety for the work what you have done because you can't be doing every now and then once it is done means it should be pakka and you should maintain it okay so to have a double safety what you do is at the back side of the blouse that is where you have done the uh, work not for the painting i'm telling you only when you do this kind of uh, work okay around the painting take little bit of fabric glue this is what i uh, generally follow and especially when i do it for the customers okay take little bit of fabric glue take a rough brush a used one okay now add one or two drops of water very less don't make it too dilute just add little water to it bring it to a lick uh, thick uh, milk consistency or a dosa batter consistency okay no lumps dissolve it in water like this and make a thick fabric glue paste load it in the brush then don't um, apply the glue on the area wherever you don't have any painting or any embellishments done only on the areas where you have done the work just very superficially and gently you apply the glue this will give you a double safety for the work what you have done because you have taken so much of pain in creating the pattern and this thread also will not at any cost will not come off will be perfectly and permanently stuck onto the fabric this you have to do after the uh, fixing of all the stuffs okay 
the end when the entire work is finished i'm just uh, giving you the idea right now i will do only one side the other side i will not do it right now late maybe later i will do it okay you know where the designs are you can follow it very carefully and it is very clear also you could see all the threads now in the front side of course you you will not be able to see any of the um this thing what do you call the glue marks even if it if you happen to see it also it get it becomes transparent once it dries completely so this is what you have to do at the back of the design what you have done so as they read it the back side of the blouse and now it is in the process of completion okay now let us move on to today's work please do not forget to do this kind of work after you finish the entire painting entire embellishments all the stuffs now for today's session it is going to be the shank and the chakra done on the sleeves and you all know the shank comes to the right side of uh, the tirupati balaji and the uh, sorry the chakra on the right side and the shank on the left side okay so accordingly i have done this is the right sleeves and the other one is the left sleeves i have uh, i did not uh, uh, i didn't want to have this in today's session because we have already done in yesterday's class so the main uh, painting portion will be carried out today as i told you yesterday once you draw the pattern on the uh, thing using an yellow carbon or a white carbon depending upon the color of the fabric here i have used white carbon okay after tracing the carbon apply the gold paint just one coat is enough because we are going to use lot of stones and uh, the beads and other stuffs so there is no need for you to go for a second coat just one coat of filling the gold paint is more than enough and then carry out the stone fixing and then the uh, running stones and other stuffs other areas where you need the painting should have a base white coat because this is a darker base this is black in color and moreover uh, it uh, you you see lot of paint oozing out on the other side so definitely you have to give two coats of white on the fabric because single coat does not work properly it it gives a very dull uh, effect and the color may not stand out for a long time so it, the color also after applying on the first coat of uh, white application might a little bit uh, diminish so give two base white coats twice okay hi usha uh, good evening so after giving two base white coats we can start the coloring now one is the rose mala around the chakra the other one is the vastra which is hung over there and the sent tied at the sides and not over here so these two we will be doing right now and of course for these things we will use a liner fabric 3d outliner now here for the chakra we will start the coloring now the coloring will be i am going to take red white little bit of green and black also you can use fabric colors if not you can use acrylics also then the green color and these are the colors i need for today's session and of course the brushes for filling you can use number 3 and for detailing you can use either uh, 000 or number 1 okay now we will start though we have already given white base coat don't straight away start with the crimson red for the uh, flower effect again you have to give one more application of white on top of this so take white hi sujatha hi sharada ma'am thank you samyukta thank you so much take white color do not add water just a small quantity i will do 
because before this white dries we will be starting with the other color on top okay so now we will do the um, rose garland around the chakra just apply the color okay now take crimson red very little of crimson red little bit of white add both mix it you get a pink shade apply the pink shade towards the top just dab it i don't know whether you are able to see top portion okay similarly towards the top also normally you are supposed to do the painting and then uh, carry out the embellishments but here just to save the time i have already done the um, embellishments and i am doing the painting which has to be very carefully done just like that i cannot do so i have to be more careful while applying the color done you can even paint it also but i don't want to paint it i just do like stippling making small 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 dots with the tip of the brush hi ma'am good evening okay then what you do is you take a round brush uh, any number 000 or number 1 or 00 also any one number uh, load the brush with little crimson at the bottom just place dots like this keep the brush upright and then you place the dots some more and taking okay then what you do is just wash the, i'm doing the lower part wash the brush wipe it then load the brush with little white little white and then at the point of junction the two colors where they meet over there before the crimson dries apply white take some more every now and then you have to load the brush again make dots over there very simple painting in fact a easier technique that the lower half is almost over we are not adding water to the paint it is all direct paint there is this paint in the box that is why i am not able to load it properly done okay this is done samita color does not matter whatever the color may be accordingly you have to choose okay and uh, this is my blouse and the saree is little darker in color the blouse is also darker in color so i am choosing these colors now we will do the top portion again crimson red end color ah undalo end color vena kudukalam namba idha color appdin no hard and fast rule so neenga choose pandra color poruthu I mean the color of the fabric apart. You can decide the design. You can decide the color. If you are doing this, you can do it. If you are doing this, you can do it. If you are doing this, you can do it. If you are doing this, you can do it. If you are doing this, you can do it. If you are doing this, you can do it. If you are doing this, you can do it. If you are doing this, you can do it. If you are doing this, you can do it. If you are doing this,
அதனால ஐ ஹேவ் டேக்கன் திஸ் நீங்களும் பண்ணும்போது இதே இது பண்ணுங்க நல்லா இருக்கும் கலரும் நல்ல பிரைட்டாக அப்படியே ஹைலைட் ஆகும் even on any color these two white and uh, crimson combination will be uh, good because normally for tirupati balaji for the shambhu and the chakra this kind of uh, rose garland will be put around it okay then i take little white just that the point of joint done so one garland is over around the main chakram we have done okay hope i am focusing it correctly yes now for the vastram around it you can take one second take yellow and green i am using the fabric colors first you take yellow apply yellow color already we have given white so on top of it i am giving yellow then take green color any green here i am going to use light green number 12 so take any green because my sari has the pichuai style of uh, leaves and flowers in it so i am taking green color here for the vastram though it is not green and red and all it's it's again once again the full sari is um, grayish only the pattern is everything black and grayish and the outer mattam we put in then wash and wipe it Just smudge it. You take some more yellow, highlight in the center. Okay, now take black color. draw these lines then the folds also you have to do a single fold exactly in the center leave it off okay then inside also you can make a pin outline like this just to, now on the gold paint the floral pattern take black color and make a circular line around the stone for all the four stones make the partition to show the center petal similarly here also 
and at the bottom done okay now we will do the other side of the vastram again for the vastram it is the yellow applied first for the base blend the color then at the bottom also very less towards the other side this is my blouse so i can add i left the uh, bottom because i want to add some more uh, designs at the, uh, on the zari after i get it uh, stitched not before that after stitching i will do i'm planning to bit of tassel at the bottom so take again a low color make tiny lines like hanging ones at the bottom little by little you add the color because i told you the texture of the fabric is so uh, different that the color oozes on to the other side and the front side it becomes very very light after the dull after the application now i will wait for this to dry and add little more extra on top of it towards the top alone not that the bottom bottom but towards the top similarly do for the other one little by little you add the color it's like dry strokes Use a round brush. Load the tip of the brush with the paint, and then draw strokes. Let it set for some time. But you can add some uh, dots at the board, irregular uh, ones or in a straight line also you can. Add. Now I need to add some more uh, yellow at the top. Okay. Now for this, the floral patterns. Let us use the liner. pearl metallic uh, gold liner it work this morning and now it's blocked this happens a dot add a dot at the tip very simple work and the uh, it towards the inner just one small just the line alone no need to add a dot Now here, this can be done with a uh, um, gold thread also. At the chain stitch, you can put over it. Then small curves 
filling the gap don't extend it to the fabric just finish it within the gold now to the bottom again another one for the side alone but for the center from both the sides and the dot exactly in the center then small lines filling the gap done now let me add a uh, yellow for the tassel as it stopped please let me know uh, here it shows the live stream has been stopped ended okay i am on okay this device is getting old <laughs> hi ashwini Uh, Ashwini, please share your WhatsApp number. You can directly message me. Uh, I will add you in my group for further notification. Tomorrow we are uh, coming up with uh, two days uh, Tanjore painting on fabric. It's a paid class, so people have registered. If you are interested, share your WhatsApp number. I will send you the details. Okay. Tomorrow and day after tomorrow, just two days uh, from the basic to the advanced. In detail will be shared, and the recording will be available also. even if you miss the live you can always watch it later so now for the tassel i have loaded the brush with little bit of yellow and then add one leaf from the top like this and make it darker that's it okay let the lower half be as it is hi shri gauri namaste So this is done. One side of the sleeves with the chakra is over, and here also around the vastra. Put a thin gold line. Don't make it too thick and prominent. Make it as thin as possible. not on the yellow but from the green yes we finished this is for the right sleeves we have done hi nagakumari welcome <coughs> those who are new please do like share and subscribe my channel we are coming up with a uh, few more good items okay done do you all like it isn't it interesting now we will move on to the sham thank you shobha thank you so simple start immediately on a blouse piece and do share it to me okay i'm sure all of you can do it such an easy work very simple it can be uh, done within an hour so in one full day if you spend sit in work for this blouse you can complete all the three patches thank you shri gauri okay now we will start with this here for the shang we need the same color combination will be there for the side vastra because i don't want to 
make it uh, a little different from one another but the shangu will be of different shape okay so for the shangu as is as usual i said uh, you have to because it's a uh, texture the fabric is so uh, this thing that the color oozes at the back so i have given two coats of white prior to the main coloring this should be kind moreover not only because of the fabric the color of the fabric is also darker so when the color of the fabric is darker better you give a base white coat and then start the main coloring on top okay i will plan i will plan okay now here uh let me uh, load the brush with white first and then let me keep uh, blue also ready you can use turquoise blue you can use cerulean blue okay load the brush with white color thank you meena thank you so much just do only for the shangu apply the color and i repeat please do the coloring first and then do the embellishments but here i am doing it vice versa because as we have finished the uh, technique of fixing the stones and other stuffs so i am straight away starting with the coloring here the now before the white dries take blue color very little draw the outline let me use a thin brush the gap is so small hi pratiba good evening after a long time you are joining right hope you are go doing good just the outline alone first and then shade it off with diluted blue this wash the brush wipe it Good evening. Before the blue dries and the white is also wet because we have given a coat on top. And try to blend the colors. Take it towards the side, and we will complete it. Take little white. to make it little bright that's it i'm applying one more coat on top fine now for the shangu 
also we have to do the garland around the uh, it is not silk fabric it is linen semi linen i think i'm not uh, linen sorry not linen uh, linen semi linen i think okay now make a pink shade white and red mixed just apply by the side of it then this side also Of course, the lower part you can't do. So only from here it goes, goes beyond it, beyond, um, at the back side of it, and then stops over here. Understand? These uh, things on the stone we can uh, wipe it later with a clear but wet but. Now take a crimson red towards the outer. take very little just do the stiffening I repeat tomorrow we are starting one paid session on uh, Tanjo painting on the fabric and those who are interested you may enroll. It is a paid class. Uh, do share your uh, whatsapp number for further details. Then uh, now for the Vastram once again the same color combination. It should be uniform. So I have taken a yellow. Apply yellow first. both the sides whenever you do any painting on the uh, linen saris it is always better you give two minimum two or maximum three coats whatever the color may be you remember we did uh, different poses of krishna on a linen sari only okay now before the color dries take green color just do only the outline first and then simultaneously try to blend it with the base leaving the center portion as it is we'll take some more and do at the bottom the one which is hanging then towards the end these painted and enhanced uh, uh, work on the fabric are highly priced. Then here on the other side, let us do.
just blend it a little bit on the other side and at the bottom. Okay. Just blend a little bit. Yeah, now I think it will be clear to you. Then what you do is we need to do the black. So for that, so it is so blue here. Please, please do try a piece for yourself. And you can even take orders and do also. Let your pastime become a profit time. Take yellow, make strokes at the bottom. See, this becomes dull. Just dry strokes technique. Then let it dry. Then we'll add the again the same color on top of it. Place some tiny dots at the bottom. Okay. Now I'll let it set. Next one, uh, take black color. We will do the floral pattern and around the stone it should be black outline for all the stones. Sushila, welcome. Good evening. How are you? Just do only for the main center petal. Then start with the liner work. For the outermost one, just the line and the dot at the top. Place a dot here, exactly at the tip of the line. And then add few lines inner to it, filling the gold gap. It's a pleasure, thank you. can't stick um, the ball chain and all here okay because the gap is very small that's why I have asked you to use a liner Do 
this will be fine the size for a blouse okay yeah now the fourth side Now here for the white stones, do small curves. Just one side will do. Okay. So this will look good on black. Don't do the inner side. Just leave it as it is. Now coming over here, the yellow. Oh, it's okay, Vasanti ma'am. Take care of your health. Do not strain yourself. Even after some time also, when you're free and comfortable, you can watch my video. Anyhow, I'm not going to delete it. It will be uploaded in my channel. So you can always watch at your convenience. I'm so happy that you joined, but still do not strain yourself. Make these lines irregularly positioned. Okay. Let it not be of the same height. We'll call you after some time, ma'am. Take care. We'll definitely talk to you. Understood. So this is done. So we have completed both the hands and the back of course yesterday we did. Today it was only the hands we did the painting as well as the other steps also. Now I will just uh, tell you the positioning of the design on the sleeves. So when you have the borders like this for the blouse, just fold it into half and then mark the center. Okay. So this is 1 meter in length. So I have made a mark exactly in the center. This is a 50 centimeters. Okay. Now take these two. This is one half, the other half. Now bring the end to the center point and mark the center here. That is after 25 centimeters. So this is the center for one sleeves. And similarly, another 25 centimeters for the other sleeves. And it is always the chakra on the right side and the shanga on the left side. So you place it and you stitch it in such a way, you follow this instruction carefully. And then here, the main thing is I have a broader uh, zari for the sleeves. So I am planning to have some pattern, a running pattern or some sort of stone fixing, some simpler ones I am going to carry here. So I did not do anything right now because uh, it should not get uh, damaged while stitching. Okay, so I will be doing the base portion later after I get it done, stitched by the tailor. So only the shangu and the chakra I have done it. And uh, please do not paint after fixing the stones. Do the painting first and then start with the embellishments like how we did yesterday. Same way, okay. But here just for the class. I, I did the um, stone fixing first and then did the painting here during the live session. Understood? So these two are the uh, things what we did today. And the uh, Tirupati Balaji face uh, yesterday. Of course this is for the back side of the blouse. And these two are for the sleeves. Now I'll bring it closer. Thank you, Sushila. Yes, I want every one of you to learn and do it also. Okay. Thank you so much for your compliments. And uh, and uh, before I uh, normally when I start the session, I always uh, give the credit to certain people who share the creations. But now in today's session, it is towards the end of the session. Uh, let us congratulate. Thank you, Suchita. Thank you, Pratipa. Let us congratulate um, Shobha for the work what she has shared it to me.
Shobha Prem Kumar's work. She has just started the Toren Lipen style. I don't know if you are able to see Lipen style of Toren. And it is the work is in progress. I am sure she will complete it in a day. And by the next session, I will share the full finished article also. Okay. Thank you, Shobha. It's really com it's coming up well. Keep creating. I know you can side by side start these also. The blouse. Do teach others also. session will be very soon and tomorrow to that tomorrow of course I have the paid class uh, we cannot plan the life maybe after that we will do okay thank you so much for joining and uh, make uh, let me see uh, the number of I think it is 298 yes this is 298 uh, session my video uploaded in my YouTube channel will be completing 300 very soon Thank you so much. Take care and bye-bye. See you all very soon. And those who wanted the design, I have shared it to them yesterday. And others, if please, please do message me. And I will definitely share the uh, design. You can always do the work. Okay. For yourself first and then for the others. You can even take classes. You can make patches and you can sell it also. Not only this, other patterns also. Okay. And uh, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, it's a paid session going on. Anybody interested, you can join. It is Tanjur on fabric where the basic to the advanced level will be clearly taught to you step by step. And the recording of the video also will be available. Lifetime. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care and bye-bye. See you all very soon. Any doubt at any time, you can always message me or call me. Uh, hope I have placed it properly. Yes. Hope all of you enjoy the session. And uh, I'm sure it will be really of much help to you. It has come out so well. I love this piece. I will ask my tailor to come tomorrow and I will give it to her. Thank you so much. Let me wind up. See you all soon.